Scientists have grown tiny brains in a lab. Tell me that's not the coolest thing you've heard all day. Hey folks, you're watching D News, and I'm Lacey Green. The art of growing human organs may sound like something straight out of a science fiction movie, but it's real, it's legit, it's alive, sort of. Researchers at the Institute of Molecular Biotechnology in Vienna have grown hundreds of small structures made out of human brain tissue, roughly matching that of a 10-week-old embryo. The pea-sized structures are called cerebral organoids, and they're the first to showcase many key features of the developing human brain. However, the regions aren't organized the same way a normal human brain is, the tissue is distributed a little differently, and it's kind of a hot mess. But hey, we're taking baby steps here. What they've so far accomplished has a lot of applications, particularly when it comes to understanding disorders and developmental issues that occur during the first stages of life. For instance, they're already looking at a brain disorder called microcephaly, where the brain doesn't grow to the proper size. The dorsal cord which is the region most affected by the disease, is conveniently very accessible to the researchers now that they're, you know, growing it. By studying the organoids made from a patient with microcephaly, they've already learned that the neurons are differentiating too soon, which may be the cause of the disease. Bam! Life-altering knowledge. So for all of this science magic, you can thank your stem cells. Those of you familiar with stem cell research know that they have the potential to turn into any body part. There are two types, embryonic and pluripotent. Embryonic stem cells are a little controversial because the 40-year-old embryo that they're taken from is destroyed in the process. Induced pluripotent stem cells are usually skin cells that are chemically reverted back to resemble the embryonic stem cells. In the case of cerebral organoids, both types of stem cells were used, although there wasn't much difference in the outcomes between the two. Growing human organs from stem cells is an area of scientific research that is really rapidly growing all around the world. In 2006, the first full organ successfully received by a human was a bladder engineered from their own cells. Various types of skin cells are regularly grown and grafted on a patient's body. Just this year, a trachea was grown and implanted into a toddler who was born without one. As we speak, scientists are growing blood vessels and veins, heart tissue, cartilage, tiny livers, and lungs. That's right, folks, the future has has arrived, and it is sweet. This research has the potential to eliminate so many problems with the organ shortage, because we can just throw them. No more dying, waiting in line for a donor, no more sacrificing your organs to save someone. And because the organs are genetic copies grown from the patient's own cells, no more organ rejection. Science, everybody. Science. Thanks for joining me for D News. What do you think about the stem cell research and the study of tiny brains? Let me know down below. And we'll be back soon because we got more science updates coming at you every day, twice a day.